Well, good morning. Welcome to the Daily Race. I'm definitely not in my uh, my office studio. Uh, we've been on vacation, so I pre-recorded some of the last couple of days, but uh, all of the, the flight stuff that's been going on uh, still having issues. We got delayed, delayed, delayed. So we just rented a car and just driving from Mississippi all the way back to Phoenix. And right now I'm in somewhere in Texas, somewhere like 100 miles outside of uh, El Paso. Um, I'm not sure what the name of this, but I'm at a, a pilot truck stop and, uh, but doing the daily race here. I had Adrian read the passage as we were pulling in here. First Kings, uh, chapter nine verses one through nine. Um, what's happening here. <laughs> We've just, uh, moved everything into the temple. The people are at rest. Solomon's given this great speech, rallied the people. And now God is saying, uh, he's going to give his promise again. And this is, this is what he tells them. He tells them, remember my original promise, the covenant that I made with Abraham and Moses and Joshua and everyone up to this point is still in effect for you, Solomon. And it's, it's a conditional agreement. Uh, the covenant, the, the, the law is based on if you fulfill these promises, if you do what I tell you to do, if you follow my commands, if you obey all of these, these rules, um, then I will take care of you. Then things will go well. But if you don't, if you don't follow him, then things aren't going to go well. And he's re-emphasizing this here with Solomon. He's like, Solomon, my hand of blessing is going to be on you. There will be someone of your family on the throne of Israel from now until forever, as long as they continue to worship me, as long as they continue to put me first, as long as they continue to, they never put any other gods before me. There's a little bit of foreshadowing there because what happens after Solomon is that not a lot of downhill. There's a lot of kings that his his uh, grandsons and great great grandsons and great 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 grandsons and great 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 all the way down, just lines and lines of of his relatives that choose not to follow God, and God takes His hand of blessing away from them, and bad things happen, and they get taken into captivity, and just all of these things that can be totally avoided if they just follow God. Now. We live on the other side of the cross. We live in the new covenant. The old covenant is based on if you follow these rules, then you get my blessing. But now we're we're on the other side of the cross. Uh, That our uh, relationship status with God is not based on what we need to do or what we've done. It's based wholly and solely on what Jesus has already done. What good news is that, right? That's amazing, right? That, That we are not uh our our relationship with god doesn't come and go based on our actions it's based on what jesus has done now does that mean that god's rules still aren't good does that mean that we shouldn't follow god's commands absolutely not uh that god's commands provide for us they protect us uh just like i'm out here i'm i'm well let's see now i'm uh 15 hours into this drive i've got about seven more hours to go to to get home um the rules of the road, I'm following the rules of the road. Why? Because I don't want to get a ticket? Eh, that's part of it, but mainly because they're for my safety. Like staying under the speed limit, staying within all of the boundaries, slowing down in construction zones, all those things are put there for my safety, for my protection. Uh, that there are some people that know better than me about, <laughs> I've never been on some of these sections of the road before. I don't know how fast I should be driving on them. I don't know what the turns are coming up ahead, but but other people know. And they posted speed limits and they posted uh, directions and signs. If I follow those, then I'm going to be protected and taken care of. And I'm going to be within the bounds of, of what is good. And if I choose to go outside those boundaries, well, then I'm putting myself and honestly my, my whole family at risk. So it's not just to restrict us. It's not just to make our life miserable rules. They're to protect us. And I'm on a Example of that right now, and I've got seven more hours of rule following to, to get home and safely. Um, but I would encourage you today, what, as you step into today, not so much traffic rules and things like that, but, but what are God's commands? What are God's boundaries for our lives that are just good? That life is better when we follow God's commands. How much simpler is life if we don't lie? How much simpler is, is life if, if we don't steal? Uh, it's it's better for us. It's better for the people around us. And that's where God's blessing is. So this is a great reminder here today. Uh, we don't follow God's rules to get God's blessing. 
but God's blessing is found in his rules. Hey, let's pray as we get the day started. God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you that we get to uh, start each day with you. Uh, and uh, I pray that for each and every person as we're starting our day today, God, that we will just take our next right step honoring you, whether that is is uh, a, a 10 mile commute or 700 miles of, of driving still, God. We, we just pray that you would uh, guide us and protect us. And we just thank you so much for the opportunity to serve you today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. All right. Well, hey, I look forward to uh, being sleeping in my own bed tonight and uh, being back uh, in Phoenix and uh, look forward to see you guys tomorrow, 24 hours from now, right back here on The Daily Race. Love you guys.